Welcome to this fourth module where we're going to look at QML layouts, property listeners, and button click events. In particular, we're going to be looking at how to create and show a basic page, how to create what's called a navigation bar that sits at the top of your app, including putting items on it such as buttons, how to create more fluid layouts with columns and rows and content padding, how to create text elements and text inputs, one of the most common tasks you'll have, how to listen to those text input changes when someone enters text, and then to declare a function that fires when that text has changed. And finally, we'll look at how to do the same thing, but with buttons, clicks, and what are called inline anonymous functions. Don't worry if you don't know what those are, I'll explain them as we go. But in the spirit of making things easier for yourself, perhaps it's easier if I just show you what you're about to create. So here we have the finished product that you'll have by the end of this module. We have a property cross search page where we can use a form to search for things. We can click in the search box and type London. And you'll notice that over in our vPlay live server, we've learned how to debug to pass those events back and forth. When we click go, that's going to perform a search, which we're not going to do in this module, but later on we'll complete that. And finally, we've also got get my location that's going to tap into the hardware capabilities of the device and get the GPS location. Now we don't implement this in this, in this module. All we do is sort out the buttons and the UI around it. So when we click it, the button gets disabled. The placeholder up at the top says looking for location because that's what it's doing. And it, it's basically asking you to wait a while and look for the location. So if you're excited about learning how to do this, let's get going.